Good morning, my dear students. I hope everyone is okay. Uh, today, I we have also selected. It's not the selected. It's also the last topics. Here's the last topics. Its topic name is 1.5, and the page number here's the page number is chapter 11. Page 11 and the 1.5 system of binomial nomenclature. So it's also our last topic. In the previous class, we have also explained about the different types of or the different steps of classification. Here's the different steps of classification. We have also explained about the Homo sapiens. Here's the Homo sapiens. We have also the uh, eight category. One category is also the phylum. And second is the class, the order, family, genus, and species. Six, seven. Here's the seven categories and the Homo sapiens. And I am also again repeat the kingdom. The mm. kingdom name is the Homo sapiens is Animalia. And the second category is the phylum. Here's the phylum is also the chordata. And subphylum, here's no any subphylum. And the next is the class. Class was the mammalia. Order is the primates. Family is the hominidae. Here the here the pronunciation is the hominidae. Okay. And the genus is the Homo. And the last the species is the Homo sapiens. My dear students, it's also the homework. I have, I just gave you the homework. Is it not? Today, our new topic mm. is the system of binomial nomenclature. Here's the binomial. The binomial is the two steps or the two structure. One is the genus and second is the species. As an example, I will just give you the example. Here's the binomial homo sapiens. We are, we are the human and also the homo. H-O-M-O, -O, homo. Yes, the Homo and the second is the sapiens, S-A-P-I-E-N-S. And the rules is the binomial nomenclature. Here the Homo is the genus, the structure is the genus and the sapiens is the species. So Homo sapiens is a C I E S C S the species. So Homo is the genus and the species. Sapiens is the species and the another another name is the another word is the Latin words that come from. Yes, the Latin words come from the another name is the binomial. Yes, the binomial moment pleasure. Now, my dear students, please everyone open the book and the page number 11 and we have also explained what's the meaning of the binomial nomenclature and where's the rule is the come from. Now, the binomial nomenclature. The scientific name of an organism has two parts. The first part of the name denotes the genus to which the species belongs. The second part identifies the species within the genus. The scientific name of the potato, first the scientific name potato, Solanum tuberosa. Here is the potato, the another scientific name. So, my dear students, we have also know that the, if the potato, the potato, the another scientific name is the Solanum, S O L A N U M, Solanum. And when we have also write, uh, we, we just gave the underline the solenum and uh, the structure is the tuba tuba rosum so here's the name of the binomial nomenclature genus genus is the solenum and species is the tuba rosum so the potato here's the potato again the word solenum and tuberosum denote the genus and species names from the potato respectively. This system of scientific naming of an organism is termed binomial nomenclature. Again, I have also repeat that this system of scientific naming of an organism is termed binomial nomenclature. The aim of binomial nomenclature is to uh, unum, unum vigorously identify every organism. 
sorry again i have also repeat the aim of binomial nomenclature identify every organism the scientific naming of an organism is accomplished in accordance with some rules and regulations here's the regulations set internationally here's the regulations basically the scientific name of a plant and an animal should be accorded with the declared principles of international code of by botanical nomenclature my dear students please everyone underline these words the icbn here's the icbn again i c b n international code of botanical nomenclature Here's the ICBN and the ICZN. Again, I have also give the ICZN, International Code of Geological Nomenclature. Now, we have also known, in fact, the codes are become documented in a printed form. As the scientific, again, I have also repeat, in fact, the codes are documented in a printed form. As the scientific name of N, naming of an organism is expressed in the language Latin. So, the Latin, these names are accepted throughout the whole world. In 1753, the Swedish naturalist, the Gerardus Linnaeus, laid the foundations for the modern system of naming organisms and effectively began the task with his books, Species Plantera. Famous books, the species plantera, he defined the term species and genus and used the ranks of classification, class, order, genus and species in his work. The introduction of the formal system of naming organism by Carolus Linnaeus is undoubtedly a strickling step in the history of biology. Some of the notable principles of binomial nomenclature are mentioned below. Here's the one, one rules. Here's the one rules, the language of scientific name of an, of an organism would be Latin. Young geologist Sajid Ali Haulather recently discovered a frog which can be found only in Dhaka. The scientific name given to the frog in Jacarina and the Jacarina Dhaka. The Jacarina is the genus and Dhaka is the species. The names of the genus is given as Jacarina to show respect to the founder of the geology department of Dhaka University, Kaji Jakir Hussain. And then second rules, every scientific name should have two parts and the genus names always comes first followed by the species name. For example, Labio Rohita and the scientific name, the Labio, L A B E O, Labio, and the small letters I have also give that is Labio Rohita. Here's the Labio Rohita, the genus is the Labio and species is the Rohita. Now, Labio Rohita, this is the scientific name of Rohit fish. Here, Labio is genus, whereas Rohita is the name of the species. Third rules. The scientific name of any organism should have to be unique because a same legitimate name, legitimate name cannot be used for naming two distinct organisms. Now, fourth. Rules for the first alphabet of the first name would be in capital letter with the remaining alphabets is a small type. And the second part of the name totally would be with small letters. For example, Olium, Olium Sepa, Leon, Panthera Leo. The Olium Sepa and the Lion is the Panthera Leo. Here's the Olium Sepa. Yeah, the, this word is the oleum, is the okay, first structure is the capital letter. Yes, the, and, the, and the second structure is the small letter olea. And the second is the species. I have also given the sepa. Mm. C E P A lion. The panthera leo. Is it? Now the fruits. 
file. The file rules is that at the time of printing of a scientific name, it should be written in italics. Rice. Orange the sativa, katla fish, katla, katla, for example. Six. When a scientific name is handwritten, its two parts should be separately underlined. For example, orange sativa, katla, katla. Here I want to give the example. C A T L A. Here's the I have also give the underline and the second structure is the katla katla. Again, the seven seven rules. If the scientific name of an organism is named by several scientists, the earliest legitimate mm -hmm. name given by the first scientist will be accepted in accordance with the rules of priority. Eight rules. The scientist who gives the scientific name of an organism can have his or her name cities are abbreviated form at the end of the binomial name along with the year of naming. For example, Homo sapiens L1758. Here the Homo sapiens I just give the H O M O Homo. I have also give the underline and second structure is the sapiens L C P I. E N S and the L here's the L is the Caldas linear name first form is that L and the year is the 1758. I think that's also explained that here's the orange city by L the 1753. Here L is the short form of the linear. So my dear students, I have Explain basically, we have also explained about the system of binomial nomenclature. Here's the eight steps of the rules of the uh, binomial nomenclature. Now, my dear students, I just gave you the 15, 15 species names and also the scientific names. Please, everyone, see the books first. Rice, rice, scientific names is the origin sativa. Second is the jute. Jute, the scientific name is the Corcoras capsularis. Here's the uh, pronunciation is the Corcoras capsularis. Third is the mango, Mingifera indica. Jackfruit, Artocarpus heterophyllus. Water lily, Nympha, Nympha no cherry. Okay, and the water lily is also our national fruits. And the jackfruit is also the water lily, sorry, uh, it's also a mistake, I have also give you the mistake in. Uh, here's the jackfruit, it's also the national fruit and the water lily, it's also our national flower. Here's again I have also repeat the jackfruit, it's our national fruit. Antocarpus heterophyllus, water lily, our national flower, the nympha nocere, china rose. Hibiscus rosa sinensis. Causal organism of cholera. Here's the cholera, the Vibrio cholera. And the causal organism of malaria. Plasmodium vivax. Cockroach. Here's the cockroach. Is the Periplaneta americana. Again, honeybee. Apis indica. Hilsha and also the ilish. Tino Elusa Elisha, Asian Toad, here's the, they have also two scientific names. One is the Dhutta Prinas, the Milanus Tictus, and another is the Bufo Milanus Tictus. Oriental Magpie Robin, our national bird, here's the Oriental Magpie Robin, the scientific name is the Copsica Solidis Titan. Yes, the tiger or the royal Bengal tiger is the national animal. The natural animal tiger is the panthera tigris and human, we are homo sapiens. My dear students, for this example, for this, uh, we have also finished our first chapter. Yes, the first chapter, again, I have also repeat. Chapter name is the les lessons on life. Here are the lessons on life. There are uh, five sessions of the five categories topics. Here is the one category we have also explained about the classification, the physical biology, the 
the branches of biology here's the physical biology and the applied biology and the classification of living beings aims of classification living world here's the living world we have also known that that they are the two super kingdom one is the prokaryota second is the eukaryota here's the prokaryota they have also one only one kingdom monera and the eukaryota they have also the protista fungi plantae and animalia and the, we, today i have also explained about the system of binomial nomenclature here's the binomial nomenclature we have also known that the every uh, plant parts and also the animal parts they have also two scientific names one scientific name is the genus and the second scientific name is the species so my dear students uh, for uh, for this example from this example basically from this example we i have just finished our only one chapter thank you goodbye